All right, so. <laughs> uh, that's going to happen a couple times, like you said, any system. Uh, here it is, Xenonauts 2. Um, I've played like 15 minutes of it. It's just the the public combat test. If you're interested, you can get it on uh, GOG. I think you have to go to the forums to actually get a link, but it's on GOG.com. And I could probably send anyone a link if they're interested. Just hop on Discord and uh, send me a PM or chat. Go and chat in the general chat. Someone will be able to give it to you there. Um, those of you who know, no, I don't like Xenonauts, which is fine. And uh, from what I've played, nothing's actually changed. It looks like the engine is now on uh, Unity, from what I can tell based on the startup. Otherwise, very similar. You'll never convince me that this is a good game. <laughs> so we're going to start with that. But, but even if I don't like the game, this is a very important game for those of us who like uh, squad-based combat, right? I mean, we had, before this, in uh, XCOM 2012, we had nothing for a long time. Nothing good. I mean, UFO, after math, aftershock, it's... One of them, those, was good. But otherwise, it was, like, really shitty. So, good for these guys. One of the actual groups that actually came through, because we had, we had Xenonauts, and we had UFO 2000, and we had, um, UFO Alien. There's one that's a really confusing name that throws everyone off. <laughs> Except for how's it going. Yeah, I when I played the original, when I played through it, I had to tweak the absolute hell out of it. I had to turn off Dread and actually most of PSI, because while I don't mind not having access to mind control, I don't like not having access to defense and, uh, well, we can go through what it is <laughs> that always bothered me about Xenonauts. And this has a couple, this has a lot of it. All right, I think it looks gorgeous. As I said, I am like 95% sure this is a Unity game now. So it looks really nice. We have a, a full 3D battlescape. I don't know what all the controls are yet. Where are my, uh, let's see here, settings. Tutorial, military briefing combat tutorial. There's not been time for formal introductions, sir, but I will be acting as your chief of staff. It is my role to ensure that military division carries out any orders you issue to the letter. If I may ask, how familiar you are with the Battlescape Remote Command technology? Let's just do the changes in Xenonauts. All the fundamental combat rules from Xenonauts have not changed much, but there are a few balanced tweaks, interface changes, slash new features you should be aware of. The camera can now be rotated at 90 degree intervals with the Q and E keys. You can access the secondary weapons of a soldier by right-clicking the weapons panel or by pressing X. The secondary weapons are usually a utility item such as a medikit and a pistol that has unlimited clips intended as an emergency weapon. Overwatch fire mode panel. The bottom left panel that formerly controlled the TU reserve for the selected soldier now controls both fire mode and TU reserve. Left-clicking on a fire mode will set the gun to that fire mode, similar to right-clicking to the right click fire mode cycling when the crosshair is active whereas reserving to you now requires a right click all right and overwatch disable you can press the overwatch toggle button above the fire mode panel to disable any overwatch file from the selected soldier during the enemy turn shot preview you can now check the accuracy of shots from the end of the currently selected move without having to move there holding control activates the fire cursor from the selected soldier's current location and holding control shift activates the soldier as if the control as if the soldier were stood at the end of the currently selected move path grouching grouching provide units a 20 percent defensive bonus so if an enemy has a 50 percent hit chance against a standing soldier they have 40 percent chance against a crouched one however crouching units no longer receive an accuracy bonus like it did in xenonauts which is very important because uh in xenonauts when you put an enemy into overwatch uh you basically what you do not want to do ever because they would become hyper accurate. It would only fire, only fire bursts. So we have, uh, maybe a little grenade launcher there, an SMG in the background. Have our rifles and our pistols. And this is very nice. Shotgun, pistol, and a baton. A heavy machine gun, our squad assault weapon, a sniper, and an SMG as well. 
So we have our fully 3D Battlescape, which again, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Truly gorgeous. I will give it that. And I got some glare, like no tomorrow. Give me one second. Fight that glare. Ah, so we got some military personnel up here. Hey, buddy. Friend of mine. All right. I want to see this grenade launcher. So we this is our reserve and fire mode. And that turns off Overwatch. I like that system, actually. So uh, some of the things that really bugged me in the original is I always hated... Can I just do... Uh, let's see. The control... So, how everything in your line of fire reduces your accuracy. Like this little fence right here. It just kills me. <laughs> it just absolutely kills me. Um, things like the AI cheating. People don't believe me, but the AI totally cheats. <laughs> Even how's it going? It totally cheats in Xenonauts. In a bad way. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That's alright. It's going to move people forward. Do I have... Just crouch. Oh, that is nice. My very confusing sight lines. Why? <laughs> Why? I can't see that far. But that's fine. I always thought the sight lines always bothered me, but I can live with these because. Yeah. There we go. Let's move the squad assault weapon up there. I'm curious to see how many of my gripes are actually fixed by a new engine. Because, I mean, I will... I will give this game... I will give it full... What's the word I'm looking for? I'll give it a, a chance. I'll give it a 100% full chance to not make me hate it. I said, I think it looks great. I love the air combat. And the thing that always kept me from going back and playing it again, even though I tried, is the the core meta of the game is not my style. I don't like just the the dice roll combat. I really I hate that. Alright, well, let's end the turn, see what happens. Watch our friendly human soldiers die instantly. Having this fog of war thing, I think, is great. The, uh, I never thought sight lines made sense in the original Xenonauts. They didn't feel intuitive. Being able to see around these corners. Hey, we get our first reptilian. Zero percent chance to hit. Can I actually? Zero percent chance. Alright, I can do this cycle this way, can't I? Yeah. So, like, this is a 30% block. Which makes absolutely no sense, right? <laughs> but why would that decrease my accuracy? Uh, 6% 18 to you. We can do that and run. <laughs> Nice. You know, it's not... Again, if they uh, respected line of sight rules, aliens did for using PSI, even if they had the XCOM intelligence rule, where you had to have been seen, you know, and then X number of turns. That's really cool. I like that. X number of turns, uh, it would change that'd be completely fine but it was straight up reptilians <laughs> <laughs> all right and i can bring you over here this will be huge for me i like that a lot and oh, that's a little odd
but you then you this is nice because and i can say i totally had sight on that guy and i'll be like no no just look at the numbers i totally did not have sight on that guy let's move over you had sight that way interesting oh hello a little casein what you call it can i not attack you 44 100% block but i can see him and i bet he can see me <laughs> oh that's how that's how uh height bonuses work all the time all right so you can still see this guy Oh, because it's that, that corner bonus dealio where it's the idea that they are actually peeking around that corner. Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. <laughs> you're totally in trouble. Oh, wait, no, you can't see that guy. Who can? I see one of you. No? Oh, maybe uh, our allies? Do we share a vision with our allies? That'd be pretty cool. Make them a little bit more useful. It does, doesn't it? It looks like a 2012 sectoid. <laughs> I always like how they wear jumpsuits. All right, well, you're dead for sure. So number of bugs reported, you know, as long as there's no dread in this game and they uh, and they don't do that last mission again with the enemy enemy swarm, I'll be completely okay with the rest of this game. How can I see this guy? Who sees this guy at all? Aha. Critical miss. All right, I need you. Excellent. So he's just hiding. sees him. Ah, it's nice having more than four people in the squad. Right, that looks all clear. What do we, oh, there's more map out there. I wonder what the range is on this thing. So we only have a 90 degree field of view. Good to know. back. Uh, let's scoot you forward. <laughs> I can't tell what rank he is. It's impossible to tell. I love map spinning. Love it. I have another game we can add to our list that I just, uh, I installed it yesterday, but I didn't play much of it. Uh, Satellite Rain. And there's a game which I think looks really, really nice, but uh, could really use map rotation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was always an, an argument for um, the first unit of Nazis. You can just mod out all the problems you have with it. But I sort of, aha, I feel like the game should be fully playable. See, look at that, that little tree blocks 30% from an HMG and that blocks another 10. Hmm. 
this I, that stuff I hate. Not a fan of that at all. I'll go and scoot up here. Oh, another one. We'll do 15. That's all I got. Can't tell. We'll take this from here. It's not a good shot. Hey, but we got him. <laughs> Alright, do we risk this overwatch? I'll just take a peek. There was like a guy like right here. No. Do I have any more grenades? I mean, I get that like this can count, that tree can count, but I'm going to be shooting over this anyways. It's fine. It's the fact that it's a flat, uh, it's a flat penalty that bugs me more than anything else. Who has a grenade? You do. 38, let's swap you out. You can grenade next turn. Yeah, if he comes that way. React. Double react. Move you back. Caesians, sectoids, little Caesars. I wonder what the range is on this thing. Looks like... I can't tell. So, control, if I do control shift? No, I do shift. What was that command to do the uh, walk here in accuracy? Shot preview. From the end of the current select the move without having to move there. Hold control, activates the fire cursor from the selected soldier's location. All right, so control shift. Let's just take it. A control shift. <laughs> Thanks. That's exactly what I meant to do. There we go. Okay. All right. Cool. I like that. I'm not entirely a curmudgeon. You guys stay there. You're not going to be useful. Although this guy's out by himself now. Because the same reason grenades are blocked by terrain. <laughs> Zero dots one. You take a roll. All right, here's how combat works in Zero Nuts. You take a roll. You max out your extra at 95, no matter how good you are. And everything that is within like a 30 degree arc between you and your target, you subtract X percent, depending on what it is. Street sign, minus 45%. He was facing away, but that's fine. That's fine. First is 33. I can't get out of there, can I? Yoink. And this is how we use machine guns. Zero percent. Am I getting a block on both sides of this hill? I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you suffered, so you know. Yeah, let's just do some normal shots. Well, luckily they're not laser accurate like they were in the first one. Alright. Now, can we heal ourselves, or do we have to be healed by someone else? Let's 
20 time units, and we'll find out. Let's do a quick peek around here. I assume we're okay. How far does this map go on? I'm so spoiled by strafing. No, nope, not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that was one of my big gripes. There, you really, you you, f you fell behind, but you never got ahead. And some people really hate the super soldier aspect of uh, the standard XCOM. Zero percent. So I, yeah, I'm blocked by both sides of that hill, which I think should be a bug. So if I were to do this, right, if this was my idea or my game engine, these would all have heights, right? And the highest height between me and the target would actually have the target penalty, and anything below that would be safely ignored. So for here, it would probably be like this plateau would have the 30% penalty, as opposed to all this stuff being some sort of block in between. I like the firing selector. I think that's pretty okay. I mean, we can't. We got to give Xenonauts credit because it has all our our weapon sprites for the railguns <laughs> and XCOM and the drones. Don't forget the drones. I can do no aim shot. I'll take it. Nice. He'll heal that up next turn, right? Oh, he bled out. Aliens look great. Not gonna lie. Alright, do we have a shot on this guy? No. All right, without grenades, can I pick up grenades? Do I have an inventory? Inventory. No. Cannot pick up their stuff. What do we got here? I could do that. I'll take a 50. And 25. All right. They were. I loved having a fourth tier, even though it didn't really make that much of a difference. <laughs> the uh, I like the concept of like all the predator suit stuff. Let's try a burst. What are we at? Fifteen? Oh yeah, sure. Man, that was a waste. <laughs> of course. He's not shooting at us. The the short duration on smoke grenades always bothered me. Uh, you can shoot through UFO hells now, though. You can uh, get them out of your way. They are no longer a single point of entry problems. Although that's sad. I mean, they're still... They're still lethal because aliens like to camp in Xenonauts. And I like the fact that you can always use their weapons. At, even at the beginning, you just have that severe penalty to them. I thought that was a nice compromise. Like they weren't made for your hands. Sorry. I need... Is it? Oh, that does it. Never mind. Right, crouching as a defense only boost, I am okay with. Although my shotgun guy might die right now. Alright, he's just hanging out. Maybe he doesn't have a good shot. Let's do some aim shots. 
I can only do one aimed. Ah, that tree. Good old trees. I need that overwatch. Scoped. 39 TUs. Very nice. My general uh, play of Xenonauts was everyone starts off with... <laughs> <laughs> we'll start out with the snipers, but by the end of the game, it was uh, just full map machine gunning. I'm just gonna take my time here. You got nothing. How about you? Do 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 do. Hey, Violet and Red, how's it going? You can choose between crouching or standing. So it's. Standard XCOM stuff right there. Right, he did fire once, so he might be low. Let's move you forward. We in range yet? No. Where is... Uh, there's the UFO right there. Alright, where's my machine gun? Ah, there you are. It does, but it's. I think this is more of an XCOM 2012 situation where you have a chance to hit and things are just subtracted from it. It's really a hybrid, and uh, that was one of my gripes with the original engine in Xenonauts 1. It was, it was the worst of both worlds. Oh my goodness, my daughter's awake. Hold on one second. There we go. So I don't think she's going to sleep today, so it might be a very short stream, which is fine. It's a demo stream. We're still waiting for version 0.7 of XCF to come out. 
before we start our new series. And uh, I need to find some sort of thumbnail image for uh, Darkest Dungeon. So if anyone wants to be a thumbnail artist, uh, I have work for you. <laughs> Just tell me what you charge. I am totally up to pay for that. So let's do the numbers. 30% block, 40% block. I feel like I can get close with you. I wanna risk it? Do you wanna risk it? No. <laughs> I'm a wuss. I'm a wuss. You're a breacher. I could try with a pistol, actually. I don't know if you're not standing. No, that doesn't change it. I wonder if they'll have the the bug hunt mode in this on for like terror sites and whatnot. I like that a lot. I get a plus and minus, right? So after 20 turns and terror sites, you get to see where the aliens are. You get like the the story uh, is that the satellites are up, so you can see. There we go. Civilian down. Reptoid is down. And we run into the XCOM problem of not being able to cross the street in one turn. Oh, that was not the UFO. does this map go? Alright, I'm going to plant you like over here-ish. <laughs> that would be nice. Or if the <laughs> or if the local forces were competent in any way, shape, or form. I think I got, even like after they got laser weapons, which I thought, again, was a lot of good ideas in Xenonauts that just did not as a whole work out for me. Even after the, the local forces got laser weapons, they I think I got one total local force kill on my entire playthrough. Which really boils down to the whole, uh, there's no tech progression when you boil it down in the game. Right, I'm just going to keep you sort of on this corner as we move. We're dropping a couple frames. Hope it's not too bad. It's still less than 1%. Maybe over this way. Oh, there it is. So I was half right. I assume they're going to have the, uh, what are they called? Reapers? The chrysalid stand-ins? Removing the, uh, those very confusing cover icons, I think, is a good idea as well. I think those did more harm than good. That looks like an edge of the map. Yeah. There still might be a guy in that corner. Alright, looks like we're good. Alright, if that is the UFO... Alright, another thing... <laughs> For everyone who thinks I hate Xenodots, another thing I really liked was the Reaper AI. Fantastic. One of the best uh, uh, uses of AI I think this game had was how the Reapers worked. And for those of you that don't know, uh, the Reapers knew what you got, what your guys could see. So they would be able to, so for example, like look at this map right here. The Reapers would know we can see here, here, and whatever. But if I had this guy ended a turn like this, right? Let's go like, let's say he was like that. And he wasn't over here. The Reapers would take their units and run them this way 
over here to get around behind you. And they would abuse that. Hey, this UFO looks like an abductor, doesn't it? <laughs> Straight up abductor UFO right there. Where is the door? Oh, hello, friend. Before we move you forward, let's just do some line of sight firing. Zero percent. Am I out of range? Is that what that is? That yeah, looks like out of range. <laughs> it is a deductor. I know. Um, can you sense them? You have the end of turn stuff, like the hidden movement and kind of, sort of, I think is the answer. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, well, I think we found a bug. <laughs> Where's my, my report bug tool? Report bug. After alien, overwatch, all <laughs> non-hostile units flagged as hostile. There we go. If you're going to play this, report bugs. Do your duty. No time units. All right, you go. I don't see how that is a zero. Twenty-eight. Can I do two? I cannot do two yet. Uh, I'll just take a ninety-one. Since these guys are blind anyways. Now oh, we're dropping frames here. Let me uh, turn the bit right down real quick. Also, uh, I should have... I get out of my normal. I should have transcoding available if it is buffering for you. Violet and red. There we go. We'll drop that down to five. I had it at 6 for the War Thunder stream when we were testing. Exactly how much we could do... I'll do a snap too. Nice! That's my boy. Now, can we fire around corners? I thought that was a thing we could do. No, we cannot. Maybe that was XCOM, I'm thinking. Just hop back here. That'll do it. V. Love, love this edition. Was that in the original? I don't think it was, but I might be wrong. Let's try this. Who knows? Is this one of those games where I can't shoot things if I can't see them? Highly possible. I think I just want to sneak you up a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, let's take some pot shots at you first. Let's move you out of the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what you hit. Oh, 
Very good. And I want to get you in range to just see if we can blow up that wall. Yeah, why is that blocking you? Well, then we'll go hide behind that one then. All right, shotgun. Bring our other shotgun around. And we will make sure to watch our butts as well. Machine gun. I think you are out of sight of the civilians at this range. I think it's a cute homage. I'm not, <laughs> not going to complain about that. It's probably something you just had to throw together for the combat test. <laughs> Plot twist the, the, the Praetors are the Elder Gods. the standard stack them up oh hey buddy I don't think you want to get that close prepare for breach oh, I think we should just go through the side wall we're gonna we're gonna walk around the craft <laughs> yeah no one knows what's behind those ropes when you boil it down I'm going to go and uh, back up this guy just in case. Uh, we'll scooch forward. I'm going to get you over here. That's your ultimate goal. Ever so slowly. So in the original, um, oh, we talked about, I, I hinted on this. So in the terror missions after turn 20, or whatever it was, you could... I knew it. You could see the whole map. And what that allowed you to do was, unfortunately, fortunately, allowed you to see how the aliens cheat. So you can have an alien, let's say he's hiding here, right? And as you bring, you, he can sit here, you can hit end turn for a hundred times. Uh, well... Uh, Valent and Red, you sort of just saw it. We can see what they respond to. You sort of have to pay attention to where you've been on the map and all that stuff. There might be motion sensors. Those are an XCOM standard, basically. I don't remember if I had anything in the last one. As you get more armor, you increase your invisibility. So, other than the standards, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Machine gun, buddy. All right, you just camp. I'll bring you around this way. And we have that human soldier who's not doing anything. But, uh, yeah, so you could end the turn 20, 30 times, they will move. You bring a guy slowly up this way. When he's within 10 tiles, his AI suddenly triggers and he gets all crazy, turns around, runs outside, and goes straight for you. That always pissed me off, especially when you got to uh, alien bases were the worst. The first phase was great because uh, there's three AI subtypes in the first game, which was uh, charge patrol and then camp so the chargers always come at you at the beginning which is fun and it, it's sort of a an aliens starship troopers sort of kill everything that moves at you then they stop and then you have to go fan out clean out the guys on patrol and then always in the last room where the command ship is where they just sit and wait and those campers made the game at least for me extremely unenjoyable Uh, where are you? I can't tell. Alright, you're there. 
You got the door covered. I'm gonna back this guy up. That's true. And I hope there's more lore because that was one of the best additions to the community edition was all the extra lore added to the UFOpedia or the Xenopedia or whatever you want to call it. So here, let's see if the AI cheats again. <laughs> what normally happens is someone will come out this door, ignore all the people in front of it, and just turn around and kill that guy. Let's see if it's the same AI subroutines. Oh, you see him. Blocked by the corner. What do I got? 36. I can do a snapshot. Oh, I can't. All right, never mind. That's a good reaction fire. I like that. It looks amazing. I'm not going to complain about that. Not one bit. All right, and you hang out there. What is my shot accuracy right there? 27%. How is that blocking, man? All right, let's move over here. There we go. I hope we get some new music. Oh, <gasps> guys, guys, you just saw a unicorn humping a narwhal right there is what you just saw. A friendly AI just killed a unit. In the history of Xenonauts, it has happened three times <laughs> across every, every playthrough ever made. All right, and I think that's everyone out there. Excellent. <laughs> He wouldn't. He tried to mod for Xenonauts originally, but he did not did not want to do it. The way they did their graphics was so effed up. Their paper dolls, I think, were completely broken. You had to do one for every weapon combination possible. Sorry, I thought the, the daughter would escape. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's poke a hole in the wall. We'll do it next turn. We gotta bring those two guys around the back. Maybe they'll come out and get us. And when this one comes out, I don't think I'm gonna play in veteran. I think I'm just gonna play this on a normal casual playthrough. I think the lack. Oh, we got some visibility problems. Right there. Maybe I'll just let the uh, soldiers assault this. Uh, that'll be sure death if I park him right there, so let's not... Don't rely on reaction fire in this game, that's one thing I learned. I know. I'm just gonna crack open the door and then see what pours out when those guys are nearby. We'll just uh we'll use them. I like my other shotgun nearby. You know, weapon balance wise, what I also liked uh about the original is how things like pistols and these rifles did the same damage. They just had different operating ranges. I thought that was very nice. A nice way to solve that. All right, let's bring you over here. All right, I'll step you back. Let's 
see if you can blow open the door. Sure did. And one Reaper down with it. See, they're just camping that door because that is what they do. Oh, I don't know how he shot that guy, but that's pretty impressive. <laughs> pretty damn impressive there. It still blocks it, yeah. There we go. Door clear. Are you bleeding? Uh, 34 left. I like how the thing that threw me off. Oh, you don't have it because you are. You have baton. So let's just turn you this way. You can. You can uh, force fire by holding down control. You can shoot at anything you want, which is a lovely thing. I gotta run that way. All right. I know. I'm looking forward to that too. Plus 14. Yeah, the, the UFO walls seem uh, a little fragile, but let's maybe, this is just showing us, hey, you're not forced to go through the door. Or the door's not the only thing that can be destroyed. This is a hundred percent an abductor. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh no. Oh, we got two of them. And now you're in the way. He should not have this line of fire unless there's a hole. Oh, there's a hole in that wall. Okay, that's fine. 8%. You know what? Let's just get rid of this wall while we're here. Excellent. Can you crouch down, buddy? There you go. I love shotguns. Oh, no. He took one in the... 13 left. Why so much? Oh, wrong guy. I want you to do it. 29, that'll be fine. 17, I should be able to do it. <laughs> that was a snapshot if I've ever seen it. All right, these guys might get shot at first. We don't have a choice to equip our soldiers, so we just go with what they give us. Uh, this guy has a much better shot in the back. I don't know why. Oh, because he's suppressed. Oh, wait. He is suppressed. No, he's suppressed. All right, that's why. That is why. I'll do a snap. You see him? You could do one snap and then step back. And you can run over here. I will leave you right there. That should be fine. Uh, suppressed status means they s they are crouched down. Yeah, lowers their reaction. Does not increase their accuracy in this game, which is nice. Right, we're just gonna shoot those guys if I do that. All right, you need a healing as well. We'll do that next turn. All right, are these guys in the way? Uh, I got 2%. I'll take it. No, you'll shoot him. <laughs> Let's move you up here. <laughs> All right. Dun, 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 dun. 
These guys are being very useful. Very conveniently placed. They're like HWP, they don't have to replace. Oh, there's something that sucked in the original. Tanks were absolutely useless. Oh my god, two... two kills. Two kills. That's amazing from these guys. Alright, let's get you over here and healed. Do we have more med kit? Yeah. I guess maybe it's unlimited use. Plus 20. Can we do two? I forgot how medkits work. One per TU or something like that. Per turn? I don't remember. Are you behind that rock? I can't tell. Oh, there's a friend. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it goes without saying that we will be using a lot of grenade launchers. Where just grenades? Grenades in general. Well, that is not going to end well for anyone involved. But he's still there. <laughs> still there doing his thing. And we got one more aimed shot. Only 64. I'll take it. <laughs> if I do that, they will be guaranteed to throw a grenade at me. Just outside of range for that. Let's try your pistol. 24. I only do one shot anyways. Oh, that was horrible. Crouch. Oh, uh, that is a Reaper. It's basically a Chrysalid with enhanced AI. And I think the Alpha Reapers actually have mind control powers. Or stun mind stunning or just... I'm just gonna let this guy go. All right, I'm gonna heal him. I think. I think I might as well. Do I have time to do it? I wonder if I can. I won't have enough. I'll just have enough with you if you have. No, you have an SMG. You can't do it. So it looks like only our soldiers have med kits. Yeah, the fear PSI, that's it. Um, yeah, if you've never played, have you played any XCOMs of Violet? I feel the best way to answer it is to know where you're coming from. All right, can we heal you twice? We healed Stun. I don't know where the stun is coming from. Maybe it's not fully implemented yet. So this is most like the oldest ones, honestly. So it really is, you know, manage your, your line of fire, know your sight lines, don't overextend. Uh, learn how to abuse the AI. <laughs> it's with any XCOM. All right, we're not going to bring anyone inside yet. I'm going to bring you there so we can see better. And you can sit there. And I think I want you to react with that if possible. I like that I can actually give... Like, the sniper has that as a backup as well. Which is really nice. So I don't feel useless. Yeah, so you can move and fire with that, too. So we have SMGs for everyone. Which is great for reaction firing these guys. And we will bring the sniper up to at least here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. XCOM, if anything, is a risk management game. It 
don't chase bad decisions with more bad. Don't assume that just because you've missed your first 94, 80% shots that you'll hit your next one. Because <laughs> you won't. And always fear the last goddamn alien. And this is a 100% an abductor. And I am okay with that. Uh -oh. oh no. He was right in there. I should have peeked around that corner. Also, never go through walls. Don't know what that went. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Mr. Paradox, how's it going? All right. Uh, I think this block's 100% of stuff. We haven't been able to blow one of those up. So we'll ignore that. You don't have any grenades. You have a grenade. Can you throw a grenade up here? Heck yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the same deal. It's the, uh... If you're right next to it, it doesn't affect you, but let's see over here. Yeah, things in your path still block. I can't tell if it's cumulative block. Like, if I go here, right? It should be... 54... So maybe that one doesn't count as well. Maybe it's just the one in front, the highest one. Maybe I was wrong about that. It's hard to tell what it's doing sometimes. Don't worry about misspelling. Uh, brand new engine. Looks great. Uh, the core combat is exactly the same, though. Let's reload that while we're waiting, if we can. But we can shoot through UFOs. UFO holes now, which I hope, I really hope they don't undo. Because that would stink. Let's come forward. Uh, new features. You can have weapon sets. So my shotgunners have a pistol and a tonfa. My rifle guys have a med kit in the back. Rotate the map. As I said, you can shoot through UFO holes, which makes the game so much better right off the bat. Like, phenomenally better. Because we have found that the aliens have been hiding around every corner. Grenade launcher. Starting weapon. I do believe this is a Unity engine. Uh, simply based on the fact of how the loading screen works. It looks like the, the Unity, uh, the default config screen. Yeah, I think so far the fact that we can break their camp without... Uh, I mean, before you would just have a guy you knew would die, which is what the riot shields were. It was, <laughs> it was a sacrificial item to break a camp, and you had to hope you get everyone in there in that one turn, or you died. So now we don't need riot shields. Unity has a lot of good support, and I think that's why. Okay, we got one there. What are your chances of reaction firing me? I'll take this. Oh, we shoot our poor buddy. Un it's, yeah. Well, I think they have such good support behind them. All right, we're going to bring you back here again. Can you not go that way? No, you cannot. Uh, let's go all the way up here. It'll be faster. Alright, if I change weapon sets, I'm gonna do a quick test. Reload. Alright. Changing weapon sets uncrouches. Changes crouch status. <laughs> Don't know if that's a bug or designed. 
Yeah, the new XCOM is an Unreal Engine. Oh, I didn't want to do that. New XCOM is Unreal Engine. All right, I guarantee you there's gonna be like four more Reapers just waiting for us. Everyone move. We still have a whole reload left. This is gonna be, I think, balanced to hell. <laughs> it's the proper way to port the generator launcher. Oh, I gotta try to heal that guy. He's MVP. Jesus Christ, this guy is on fire. I'm gonna stand by him. I think he, oh, I could. No, oh, I can't heal him. <laughs> as long as we stay near him, we'll be safe. All right, take a peek. I wanna look that way. Uh, I don't know if I said this, but crouching does not infer uh, accuracy bonus, which is fantastic in this game. All right. I think we have enough people actually camped here. All right. Uh, it doesn't change crouch status. It just changes the crouch animation, so you have to hit it twice to recrouch. It's good to know. Uh, we'll wait till next turn for you. I might blow a hole in this wall too. As soon as this soldier dies, we're going to lose this match. Oh, all oh, right. Objective claiming. I forgot about that. And this is how you get everyone to come and rush your troops. You sit in the UFO, so you don't have to go and camp the map and sort it out. I need you to stay in your room, okay? I'll come and get you. Five more minutes, okay? Or you can sit down right here, but you gotta be quiet. Then come sit in your chair. Okay, you gotta be quiet, okay? And hey, we can't watch your movie. Okay. <laughs> We're not quite there. I'm working on it. That's my daughter. We got Excite Bike uh, mostly down. <laughs> That's what we're working on right now. All right. So let's uh, let's bring you up, and I want you to go. With that chair is gonna block it. I'll take this shot because we got to reload anyways. Nope. Nice rag dolls. There you go. You can watch it here or you can watch this monitor, but if it's here, the volume has to be down. Okay? Or you can go watch it in my audio. You pick. <laughs> you like Val? Crouching used to increase accuracy. Let's see. There you go. I am not dropping any more frames now. I don't know what it is. I was having a problem with Comcast recently. All right. I wonder if this armor actually provides defense. All right, these chairs are indestructible, so I'm going to use them as good cover. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, because you're in the way. That's all right. You're a soldier. Which are, you're an assault, which means you're expendable. Oh, there's a door right here, isn't there? Uh, where's my other shotgun guy? Is he dead? Oh, he died right there. That's right. Shotgun buddy. I need you here instead. You need to reload if you can. Oh, 
I might see if I can shoot through this door. Let's do that. I'll go there next. Not you. Um, you? Yeah, you. All right. <laughs> it depends on where you are if the buffering strikes you. I know uh, Ethan's friend, I can't remember his name, would always buffer no matter what. Right, anyone have a grenade? No, <laughs> a lot of grenades. Should I try it? 44. I can't move if this works. 46. We'll try it next turn. I think there's a firing penalty if you move before firing the machine gun. Yeah, Jay, thank you. And no matter what he did, he can even drop it all the way down and he would still buffer. Stay one away from the edge. I want you... So if I do this, he should react with a burst, which I think is pretty sweet. All right. I know you're still out there. All right. Sorry, buddy. You got the helmet. Oh. That. That. Ah, sweet. So they're over here. God, I wish I could kind of see around the corner. Cannot. This is how they play. <laughs> this is how they always play this goddamn game. All right, I'll just do a little... Can I even snap you? I can see him, but I can't shoot him. I can't play normal XCOM without X without uh, uh, open extended anymore. All right, I'm gonna try this. Let's see if this works. If you die, you die. We'll still capture this mission. Okay, there's a bug. That is totally a bug. you are facing a wall, you can shoot through it because your gun muzzle clips through to the other side. <laughs> you don't need to worry about your language. All right, if I go in there, you will die. able to get a shot if no you just whoops, hang out there aha I knew it do we risk that shot <laughs> no we do not 44% on an SMG I will 22 I will take that shot <laughs> I will take that shot all day long Alright, and we'll go back. Alright, come on, hero soldier. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> oh no, he went down. Oh, we're gonna lose. I tried uh, versus. I was. I never really got into it. All right. Well, if you're gonna shoot me through that corner, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do the same to you. Oh, I gotta reload. Darn it. Maybe next turn. What if I can do it this way? Abuse the bugs. <laughs> 
We won! Hooray! We won a Zeta Nuts mission. So, buggers reported. Which is why you're allowed to use it. I think that's how the rule works. <laughs> All right. So there you go. New Zeta Nuts. All it is, there's a couple missions. I think they're all that UFO. Um, camera rotation. You can do free rotate. Not much. Not much you can actually change. Error reporting. Auto resolve overwatch. I don't know what that means. Maybe it has a silent storm method. Well, you don't miss with a shotgun at that range. Ever. Well, if you send me an invite, uh, Ethan, uh, go for it. Also, uh, by the way, we'll be setting up, I know you wanted it, but we'll be setting up a, a Starbound server pretty soon anyways. I gotta get on on that when I get some chance. So, Xenonauts 2, you can, uh, if you want the link to this, it's on GOG. It's available for everyone to play. Yeah, you can check it out. Still, still pre pre alpha. Also, there is the public alpha of um, Apocalypse is out. It came out last week. We're gonna do another one of those on Apocalypse. Let's see how that goes real soon. As I said, XCF will be starting when version 0 0.7 comes out. We've already got 35, 40 soldiers named ready to go. And Darkest Dungeon will be starting with XCF. We'll be doing splitting up the week half and half doing those. If anyone uh, is a thumbnail artist or you know someone who is a thumbnail artist, I am looking to get one. I will pay money, cash money, <laughs> for, for art. Uh, let me know. Yes, I mean Open APOC is in Open Alpha right now. So go on their forums and check it out and download it. Just came out last week. I don't know how playable it is. Um, I'll, I'll put the link on Discord, too. <laughs> so, uh, that said, I know it's a short stream today. We'll, we'll do a, a few more of these. I'm going to do a couple showcases while we're waiting. I'm going to showcase Satellite Rain. That looks interesting. It sort of looks like uh, a new Syndicate Wars is what it looks like in my short little uh, tutorial run through that. Uh, Invisible Ink, I've heard, is really good for a uh, tactical style game. And uh, I think... I got a couple more we'll take a look at. <laughs> so, again, thank you for watching. I will be on Discord for the rest of the normal stream time since the daughter's awake. And no nap days are always, always, always wonderful. Thank you for the follow. I will catch you all uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a very early stream. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later.